This is Craig with Garshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to prepare you for writing the Excel 2016 core exam by walking you through the practice test for Objective 5.3, Insert and Format Objects. Let's get started. With our 5.3a workbook open, we want to begin by inserting the 5.3b logo into the upper left corner of the sheet. So in order to do that, we'll go into the Insert tab on our ribbon. Under the Illustrations heading, we will select a picture. And once we go there, we're going to pick a picture from a file. And so it's going to default to our pictures folder. And so instead, what we need to do is to navigate to where our learning objectives are. There's our image. I can double click on that and that automatically inserts it into, the, into our worksheet. Um, by clicking on it and dragging it, if it ended up not in the place that you wanted it, you can just click and drag in order to move it to the upper left corner, which is what we've been instructed. Next, we want to insert a text box on the same sheet and then configure it to a specific size. Uh, so again, we're going to go on to the insert tab in our ribbon. This time we're going to go over to the right to where it says text and then text box. With our text box, we can drag it and we're going to click and drag anywhere on the worksheet in order to create it. And then once we do that, we're going to click once we're inside it. And at the very bottom, it's tough to see here, we're going to select format shape. It's right underneath format text effects. And once we do that, it comes to our options. We're going to go into the size selection. And now we can select the height of three. I'll tab to the width, make that three as well. Perfect. Um, and we want to align it now below the heading Our Prediction. Now, rather than try and eyeball that, uh, Excel does give us the ability to, to line it up perfectly. So what we want to do is the first one we select is what it's going to get aligned to. Now I'm going to hold Control Shift and select our text box. In Drawing Tools Format, we're going to select the Align option and then Align Left. So after I've done that, it's moved that text box to align perfectly with the left-hand side of our prediction, and we know that it is sized properly. We want to insert the content of Excel 53C into the text box. So that is a, uh, a WordPad document or a Notepad document. So I have that ready to go here. We can select everything because it's gone all the way over to the right-hand side. I can't see it all, but by hitting Control-A, I can make sure that's all selected. I'll copy by hitting Control C. I'll now move back to our Excel workbook and hit Control V to paste that in. There's all of our text. Now we do need to do some modifications of it. Uh, again, I can hit Control A and that selects all of the text. Now if we move into the Home tab of our ribbon, we can select the Kundera font. And uh, rather than scroll through, I can just start typing it in until it highlights it. We'll go to the size we want, which is 20, to the color we want, which is orange. And so these standard colors at the bottom are, oh, I'm on the fill one, not the font. So I'll click the, the font one. You'll notice that it does say orange when I hover over that, and that's one of the standard colors in Excel. Lastly, our alignment is over here, and we want to center it. Our final step is to add alternative text to the logo. Now, there are some changes, at least uh, in my case where I'm in Office 365, um, that the uh, alternative text dialog has changed from how it's displayed in the book. Uh, but we can go in here by clicking Alt, or excuse me, right-clicking and dragging down to edit alt text. The other way we can do that is once this is highlighted, we'll go into the Format Picture Tools and select the alt text. Uh, in this case, there is only a single cell. Uh, in the textbook, you'll notice that there's one blank for title and another blank for the description. In this case, I now just have only one. When I open up the, the review document, um, it actually shows it displayed like this. So what I'm going to do is type in company logo. If, um, if your version gives you one uh, blank for title, enter that there. And then in the description, we'll put cartoon image of a person wearing an airplane costume. 
All right, so now we have our alt text figured out for that. And that is the final ta uh, task for this, uh, this section um, and, and actually for the whole textbook. Um, I'll, I'll show you one other thing while I'm here, uh, because even though it's not in the uh, practice task, you may be asked to do it, and that's inserting a shape. So from the insert, uh, we are going to go into illustrations, shapes, and let's add a, an, a fat arrow here. All right, so again, we would just draw this in, and there is our fat arrow. Uh, it, it formats, we can add alt text, the same thing that we've done with the other images. Um, we can change what it's filled um, in the format section. But this is something that you may commonly do in Excel as well, and it would be good to know. Thanks for watching. Best of luck on your exam. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know how you've done or if you'd like to see anything changed or improved in this video reviews. Thanks so much for watching. This is Craig with Garshalton Advisory.